How's it going everyone? King Black Tooth here. So I want to talk about one of the biggest changes that is coming out of Gamescom 2017 regarding Gwent. Now a lot of people are starting to notice this when they're seeing videos and they're seeing screenshots coming out of Gamescom and it's that golds can be damaged and destroyed now and they can be damaged by bronze, silvers and golds. Now this could be subject to change and uh, this is probably one of the biggest things that could ever be subject to change. Um, but they're, they're, they're trying it out. Golds can be damaged by bronze, silvers, gold, spells, units, whatever. And they can be removed just like normal. They seem to be harder to, to, um, to resurrect. But things, anything can sort of affect golds now. Um, unless it explicitly says it can't. So things like um, Scorch, things like Epidemic, things like Thunderbolt Potions, Swallow Potions, these things, Lacerate, you know. These things will affect golds now. And I think this is going to be a, such a drastic change. It's going to change the way the game is played. And what I think will happen in the next uh, patch and the meta and the top tier and all that business is that you'll see an, a de-emphasis of good gold cards which have timers. Uh, we went through this sort of phase before, and it's when golds could damage other golds. Um, things like Yennefer Kundra went out of fashion because she was something like four or six, and you could just kill her. And... Apart from Northern Round, they had plus two on golds back then, and it meant that she went over a threshold, so she was really hard to kill. So, golds which have timers will probably get de-emphasized because of the risk of removal and shackles and stuff like that. So, I think people will opt for, in top tier decks, cards which have a lot of value but do their ability on deploy instead, um, so you don't have to run the risk. And I think that's going to be a different sort of game. It's going to shift people's perspective on golds a little bit which is going to be interesting to actually mess around with now cd project red are doing something else which i don't think a lot of people think about and they are aware that this changes the balance of golds a little bit um so they're they're attempting to you know offset that in some ways give a bit of added safety to certain golds and it obviously comes to mind golds which have timers and stuff so they'll be adding things like armor to a gold so it's harder to remove. They'll add a death wish to a gold so you'll still get some benefit if it gets removed straight away. Um, and stuff like that. So don't have to worry that, you know, things like Tris Butterfly Spell and Yennefer Kundra are just gonna, they're just crap now. They'll add, you know, safety measures so it's you'll get some value out of a gold um, if, if the opponent does remove it. But it is gonna change the game drastically, I think. And it's an exciting period, and I'm happy that they're experimenting with it, and I don't think a lot of people expected it. Um, now, mentioning what they can be damaged for, I think, really puts it into perspective. You know, so I mentioned Lacerate, Swallow Potions, Thunderbolt Potions, uh, you know, will buff them, and Commander's Horn, and, you know, all this other thing. But one thing that really kind of surprised me, even though it makes sense, is Geralt Igni becomes really, really good now. So if there's a really strong gold like Tibor or Hjalmar or Unseen Elders consumed really big stuff and he's now 40 strength, it's not protected anymore from Scorch or Geralt Igni. Um, just want to mention again, this could be subject to change. But, you know, you can just Geralt Igni that 40 strength Unseen Elder now. Or Hjalmar's there. Oh, wow, great. Geralt Igni it. Um, obviously, you want to Geralt Igni something good, but that is a good choice sometimes. And it would really, hopefully, stop people from you know, playing all their golds in round three, which I think is great because I don't really like that kind of thing happening. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. It might make removal decks a lot better because now, you know, the square tower deck that has all spells and removal, they can remove your golds now, which is generally the main way that you beat them is by playing golds. They shackle one and, you know, you gold a big thing afterwards by baiting them. And so it's going to change them drastically everything and it's exciting i've mentioned that before i'm just waffling now but that is what happens now so what do you think what do you think thank you for watching guys take care i'll see you again very soon pam param pam pam param